how did shaving even become a thing for women this is not happening on my face i have zero courage absolutely zero courage to put the sharp blade on my face i don't even know how this thing became whatever it's become right because so many of you requested ki try kariye bataiye does it work for you or not i got this twin set from the bombay shaving company but i had zero guts to try it on you know i saw so many videos of people saying shaving cream lagao it goes on very smoothly blow up your cheek no do you know that the facial cuts don't even heal they will always scar because of the way our face is the skin on the face is there is no way of getting a nick out of this and that is going away without leaving a reminder of you be trying to be foolish i mean i can't do this how is there even any sense in this thing men moved to safety razors 20 years back they used to have razors like this before this and now we are being told this is the best thing for your facial hair no way with all due respect to all of you who swear by shaving this is not for me and i don't recommend it if it can do this to a tomato you know a tomato needs technique to cut because the skin is so thick <laughs> i'm not putting this on my face okay so why is this become such a rage this has become a big rage with people who tend to use a lot of makeup or you know uh, have a career where they have to use a lot of makeup you know like a makeup artist or say you are a youtuber who tends to do makeup tutorials and you need this super smooth finish because yes you know when all the hair on your face is gone you definitely are going to get a much smoother finish along with this this is erroneously what i mean by erroneously is isko galat fame mila hai that it can also do or give you the benefits of dermaplaning dermaplaning is a procedure that's done by both certified dermatologists in their office this cannot give you dermaplaning because dermaplaning is able to pull out or scoop out the topmost layer of your skin and really make it smooth this actually causes causes a little bit of injury and that has your skin produce more collagen and therefore you get this tightening and a youthful look on your face this does not do any dermaplaning all that the facial razor does is removes hair why do we require to remove facial hair well there are two types of facial hair there is the vellum and then there's the terminal god forbid you have pcod a lot of the vellum hair because of the androgenic activity in our body becomes terminal hair terminal hair is dark and thicker and so then therefore when you have a lot of pcod or if a pcod is active you tend to get a mustache you tend to get a lot of hair over here some people also get hair over here and obviously you want to remove those hair still not with this what i have been doing all these years is i've been threading because i have pcod i tend to get a mustache over here and so every morning while my husband shaves i do threading i have done a video on threading have a look i have become totally pro at it i can even with it, remove it uh, remove the hair without using a shisha but i think this is one of the best things though i do believe that when you continuously use this especially for someone like me who uses it every single day over a period of time it can give you a little bit of pigmentation Luckily for me I have not had it but it is something that can happen. But I have been very happily using this for almost 30 years now absolutely no complaints. And you know these threads have also become great you now have these aloe threads which are really gentler as compared to the white threads. I didn't believe it was possible but when I switched to aloe threads all the difference is so much more gentler on the hair. I don't know that's how science progresses. And then I've discovered the brown and welcome to the modern times this is the dark ages guys right. throw it away you don't need this this is the epilator from brown it's recently been launched thank god absolutely phenomenal it's light it's small it gets into your purse very very quick uh, easily without any problem comes in this beautiful pink package sits over here 
which is nestled in a bigger package this sits inside this package somewhere over here you have the smaller package in this package is this brush to clean it up right so the cute little thing has two brush heads you can use both of them to clean the head over here it does a very good job i've only been using this for the last three weeks and brilliantly happy with it <laughs> goes on like this you can move it in the linear motion that is you can go straight or you can go circular depending on what you want no pain no pulling no tummy nothing whatsoever it is so freaking gentle no indentation no marks on this tomato at all so your skin is very very safe look at this i'm not feeling anything i can go straight i can go i have some chin hair clean it up and you are done. Why, why, why would anyone, anyone use the blade? Please, <laughs> I don't get it. Go for it. The link is in the description. It's for 1700 bucks. It lasts, it has a warranty of two years. You need to replace the batteries. And a product coming from Brown, which is German engineering. One of the best names in gadgets, you can trust it. I trust Brown with all my heart and soul. We've been using it for so long in different, different gadgets around the house. Total 10 on 10 in performance and no pain, no redness, pulls all your hair easily and is so discreet, you know, without any danger of you cutting yourself. Cost is definitely a point of view because you get two razor blades for 200 bucks and I think you could use them for at least two, three months. I'm not sure any of us just go to use it once and throw it away. We are very cost conscious in all these things. But when it comes to safety, and especially when you're looking at your face, I would rather just save money and spend the 16700 bucks on this and be totally just sure that I'm going to cut my face or scar my face in any way. Not happening, ma'am. I'm not going to be using the facial razor ever. Especially now, I don't need to. Using it is pretty simple. Exfoliate your skin and then wipe it dry. And after that, go in with this. And once you're done with it, you can just wipe it with a dry cloth or a dry tissue just to remove extra hair. You know, the broken hair that might be there. And then if you really like to do what I do, I just rinse it out once just to get a very clean feel. And then go in with my actives and followed by my moisturizer. How often should you use it? Depending on how often do you get facial hair. And the thing is because what I've noticed is that on my upper lip, because I tend to have a lot of mustache hair, I use it every two days. But on the rest of my face, I've just used it, I think about two to three times. So maybe once a week, that's all you needed. But of course, it depends on how fast your facial growth is. What the face razor also does is that it's able to pick up the dead cells because the stratum cornea in the topmost layer of your skin does have dead cells impacted together so it is able to remove that and give you a really smooth feel to your skin but hey we are in modern times that's what exfoliators for use an exfoliator from the deconstruct from the minimalist and a thousand other brands available for you not only will they clear the dead cells on top they will also clear the dead cells inside and clean out the sebum clean out your skin from the inside out so you don't need something that can cut and scar your skin you could do this while seeing television instead of, you know, all hands on bake, concentrating, cut to nahi jayega. Is this a sponsored video? No, it's not. It's just me expressing my love for.
for such a fantastically phenomenal gadget. I don't even know why it's taken so long for it to come into my hands. No idea. Dev I Trustai. For more, I'm going to meet you in the comment section.